the world's 10th largest economy with a gross domestic product of $1.6 trillion. A national income per capita of over $30,000 for four consecutive years. The world's seventh largest exporter surpassing the $500 billion mark for four consecutive years. The following are the indicators the international community uses to describe the Republic of Korea. The Republic of Korea is pursuing efforts to fulfill the roles and responsibilities worthy of one of the world's 10th largest economies. Risen from the ashes of war, the Republic of Korea achieved the so-called miracle on the Han River and turned the 1997 Asian financial crisis into an opportunity for further economic development. And 30 years ago, Membership in the United Nations set the path for the Republic of Korea to actively contribute to the international community as a proud member. The Republic of Korea's nameplate was placed in the General Assembly Hall and its national flag, Taeguki, was hoisted in front of the headquarters of the United Nations. In 1995, the World Bank took the Republic of Korea off its list of aid recipients. And the following year, the Republic of Korea met the membership criteria of the OECD Development Assistance Committee by contributing over $100 million in official development assistance and became its 24th member in 2009, successfully transformed from an aid recipient to a donor country. The Republic of Korea is the only DAC member that was once one of the least developed countries in the world. This unique experience empowers the Republic of Korea to serve as a link between donors and recipients, going beyond simply providing assistance where it's needed. As the host of the 2010 G20 summit, the Republic of Korea led the adoption of the Seoul Leaders Declaration and is increasing efforts to address global economic issues and the climate crisis, thereby solidifying its standing as a global leader. Growing from one of the poorest countries in the world half a century ago to the world's 10th largest economy and 7th largest exporter, Korea provides a truly inspirational example of how sound economic policies and investing in future growth engines can drive successful economic development. The Republic of Korea's economy already vies with the world's most advanced nations. In 2018, the Republic of Korea became the seventh country to break the $600 billion mark in exports, and its export volume and fundamentals have bolstered even more since then. While the COVID-19 pandemic is posing significant challenges to the global economy, the Republic of Korea is strengthening its position as an active player in international trade thanks to its manufacturing competitiveness, solid growth of its main export items, and diversification of markets. Furthermore, the Republic of Korea is also accelerating efforts to promote new businesses and technologies to bring forth digital transformation and green transformation. Accordingly, in the European Union's Innovation Scoreboard, the Republic of Korea ranked first among global competitors such as the US, Japan, China, and the countries of Europe for nine years. The Republic of Korea also ranked first in the world in the Bloomberg Innovation Index. The international community acknowledges these indicators of success. For instance, the Republic of Korea was invited to the G7 summit for two consecutive years. Moreover, the UNCTAD, a UN body working to close gaps between nations, recently reclassified the Republic of Korea as a developed economy. It was the first time that the intergovernmental organization upgraded a member's classification since its establishment in 1964. The bridges the Republic of Korea has built are shining even brighter among the global economic challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The world recognizes that the Republic of Korea's swift and effective measures against the virus minimized the impact on its economy and enabled the economy to bounce back from the crisis. 
Korea has executed an impressive strategy in its immediate response to the COVID-19 crisis, a strategy that reflects the learning and capacity it has built through its previous crisis responses. Korea's swift and effective measures to contain the virus and protect households and businesses limited the damage to its economy, placing it among the fastest recovering OECD countries. The Republic of Korea plans to donate a total of $200 million to the COVAX AMC by next year and will continue to seek an active role in ensuring a stable supply of vaccines to developing nations. The world sees the Republic of Korea as a role model for economic development. As one of the world's 10 largest economies, we shall work towards achieving common goals shared by the world and play an even more prominent role in the international community.